That's my creepy laugh. Don't mock me. Baby. Now, I'll tell you something. This game... I played RE2 Remake. I adored RE2 Remake. And everybody told me this one was bad. Everyone's like, oh, and it might be terrible. It might get horrible. But I've been playing it for about four hours now. And I just think it's fucking great, man. And the, the visuals and the, the sense of being in the world, the immersion is really strong. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority on this, but I think it's fucking awesome. All right. Well, happy fucking Halloween. I mean, it's not Halloween yet, but I'm eating the candy like it is. So fuck you. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. My, uh, incredibly talented and kind assistant picked up, uh, candy for the house today. And she brought in this big bag that kind of, uh, the bag that is a uh, variety. So it's got like a Heath bars and milk duds. It's the best. I was going to go out tonight and see Terrifier 2 with my kid. I think we're going to. I'm not going to eat on the stream. That was just, you know, kicking. I got to get the, the vibes. Uh, hello, Dream Corridor. That is uh, a Heath bar. Hello, Logan the Lurker. It is nice to see you, good sir. That's not right. That's not right either. God damn it, Jeff. I understand. I'm, I'm, okay, now do me a favor uh, and welcome members and thank you members for supporting the channel, supporting the show. You know, I appreciate it very, very much. As you're watching, um, let me know if my screen's a little dark. Uh, it's not too dark here, but I know sometimes with dark games, it broadcasts a little bit of a dark. Uh... You bought bags of candy for your department at work? That's a nice thing to do. You're a nice fella. Now, I'll tell you what. Um, I already died. I just came to this section and I died almost right away. But the thing that got me, I was like, what the fuck, man? It was awesome. I'll show it to you. Oh, you probably already played this game. Now. I really probably need... Probably need... A shotgun. I'm going to have a shotgun. Hello, Eddie T. You played the original on PS1. I was so mad this remake cut a third. You know, I mean, that may that may ultimately be what a lot of people don't like about it is that they're um, they complain about it if they know what it's missing. But since I've never played um, RE3 on PS1, I wouldn't know what it's missing. So, oh, shit. Okay, that's what killed me last time. Here we go. Well, fucking throw it. I will say, yeah, I did get past the bug stream corridor. I will say that's one of the problems I do have with this game is uh, it, it seems like there's a, it doesn't register your L2 aim button when you need it to. A lot of times, like you have to really let the controller settle. Um, and then you press it. Like, I'm wondering, like, right now. Let's see. All right. And sometimes, like, I'll be moving around and I'll do like that. And I lost my reticle. That's super obnoxious in a game that requires you to be on your toes as much as this one does. It was your fucking mother. Piece of shit. Just get in there and fight. Yeah, I'm mean to this. I don't mean to be. I like her. She's no uh, clear Redfield, but she's she's g a good egg. I also will say I don't know why everybody got upset that she. I know you can buy the Jill Valentine clothes for like three bucks. Um, why people were upset that she didn't come with that? I think she looks super hot in this outfit. Uh, the other outfit is just kind of like. It's fine, but I know it's the original. Fuck you, Morgan. Okay, 
here we go. Here comes the big boy. Oh, buddy. Oh, shit, that was my bad. Did that get him? What the fuck was that? It was... I killed him? One hit with the grenade? Alright. People do drink corridor, I know. Hey, man, it's the la Maybe it's just a reflection of our society in the sense that... You know... Powers that be keep everybody, you know, in their little boxes, and it's like, yeah, we're gonna fight, we're gonna have a say, and all it is is just fucking showmanship to get you to think, oh my god, okay, I can't waste grenades on this guy all the time. See, I'm trying to fucking shoot it. Okay, three shotgun hits, how about... Oh, come on! I know how to kill it, I just don't want to waste all my shit, man. That bitch. Jalapeno, you've be beaten this, uh, uh, 30 to 40 times? Oh, that's- I love it, man. Um, you- it, You hate it when games don't have an aiming arc, I don't know what that is. I mean, you mean like a- you mean like a visual of where the art lob is going to go? They need to stop charging for outfits. Already paid a premium. I mean, they'll stop charging for them when you stop paying for them. But as long as people pay, they'll keep doing it. Valkyrie Elysium. I think I saw you posting about that. I have never played it before. Oh, what goes on? You can beat this in one hour. Oh, well, I don't want to beat it in one hour. I mean, I don't care. I want to beat it when I beat it. Not, I don't, I don't really need to speed through it. Let me go back and check this other path. Oh, that's good. Well, if, yeah, if you don't pay for them and more people are like you, um, then they'll stop doing it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go for the Platinum. I keep meaning to get a Platinum this year. That's sort of a New Year's resolution, which the year's getting late in the day. I might try to get it with, um, Ratchet. This guy's alive. You know, he looks like Sloth from the Goonies, though. Uh-oh, here we go. Sewer workers' notes. Of course, you know, as they are wont to do, people who work in the sewers like to leave, you know, diary entries. Dear Diary, it happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn him when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cop said he'd probably skip town like a fucking bitch, but I said no way. Not with his baby coming any day, but did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit, man. Fucking puke-breathing, toad-faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops up in one of the tunnels, and it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Yeah, welcome to fucking life, bitch. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm going to hit that fucking thing in the mouth. Um, oh god, no. Fuck no. Jalapeno says the platinum for this game involves getting through the hardest with only three saves. Oh god. No thank you. But I might get a little digital collectible. I mean, I don't have a, a real problem with the Sony Stars thing. I just don't really... Like, I buy shit, I, I get what it's for, and it's nice if you're all in on the Sony ecosystem anyway, but I just can't imagine it would ever cause me to adjust my behavior, my consumer behavior. I, I, I usually buy PlayStation if for the haptics. Um, shit, fire and save matches. Here we go, boys. Here we go. That's for you, bitch. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh! Are you shitting me? Open your fucking mouth. Open your fucking gob. Did I play tofu mode? I don't know what that is, so my answer would be no.
Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get my first platinum with Ratchet. That's my goal. That bullet right there. I'll tell you what, I'm glad they got rid of that bullshit of needing a ribbon. Oh, you can register physical games too? I, I mean, I guess, but... Like, not, you know, they're not offering that much that, that I would be like... Oh, where's the thing? There's got to be a box here somewhere. I don't know. Is there anything that you see in the current PlayStation Stars um, uh, that you say, oh, fuck, man, yeah, I want to I want to get involved in this shit? Um, I take two inventory slots. This game got you through the worst part of the pandemic. Oh, that's nice. It's great when a game can do that. Oh, it does take two slots. It's okay. Uh, what? Yeah, sure, whatever. No, swap it, you fuck. Can I load it? Uh, I just put up a, uh, a video about my thoughts uh, on the Super Mario trailer. I mean, overall, um, I thought it was incredibly well made, as anyone would expect from uh, Illum Illuminate. What are they called? Whatever. I mean, they're obviously a great, talented uh, studio, but I don't know what this is. Uh, combined with Explosive A to create. This game's 20 bucks on Amazon? Oh, that's, that is a deal. Um, so it looks great. Um, I thought, I don't think Christopher F Pratt, I don't think his voice is really, um, I, I think it's part of the narrative. Um, either his, because because he gets to the Mushroom Kingdom and he doesn't really know what the fuck he's looking at. And so I think what's really going to be happening is he's like, um... Either he is a human who somehow embodies Mario, who is known, like maybe his kids play it in the story, and eventually he starts to sort of become more like Mario or something. But I, it, 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 I don't think it's what you see is what you get. I guess is my point when it comes to his voice, because if if the voice is literally that, uh, I thought that voice was fucking terrible. I thought it was just shit. Um, but I don't think, no, there is no Italian accent. Thank you, Dream Corridor, for that uh, super chat. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, very, very kind, sir. Um, I don't, you know, I don't... When I said in my video was, it's like, if it wasn't for it being Mario, like if you if you were an alien and came to Earth and you've never heard of Mario in your life, I don't think, I don't think there's anything compelling about it. It just looks like some kid's movie. Oh, is this two slots too? Oh God, two slots for this piece of shit? Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it just kind of feels like it's just, um, It just kind of feels like it's just sort of some generic kids movie. It's like, oh no, who's this guy? You know, um, but since it's Mario, obviously it, you know, it it it, get, it gets a number of free passes. But I wasn't all that impressed with it. I just kind of thought it was like, all right, looks good if you're into that. If you're a kid, but I gotta fucking do some management. Hey, Travis Slint, welcome back. Welcome to the Cult of Calypso, sir. You have jumped. You have jumped. Into the esteemed position. I don't have my Cult of Calypso up yet, but I'll give you this one. Oh, baby, you know it. Come on, I'm going to give you that one a couple of different times. Um, this is the sound I make when I think of you at night, sir. Oh. And then Travis Slim, I will tell you finally that um, I love you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate that, sir. Um, very, very kind. Um, and welcome. We're going to be doing uh, another pot and popcorn night. I well, we're actually going to do a couple of them, I think, in October because of Halloween. 
So if you're into such shenanigans, you should join a lunch with Jaffe that you can get in on now. Uh, and we are voting on the next two uh, Halloween motion picture shows. So, uh, but welcome, buddy. I don't really know what's up with me and Diet Coke. It's just the greatest goddamn invention man's ever created. It's filled with cancer-causing aspartame. Um, I'm a little... I don't like the fact that... I have to keep going. I, I understand it's a sort of a trope of Resident Evil, but they seem really stingy on slots. I've only found one kind of backpack. Um, Coke Zero is too sweet. Um, that that can extend my my carrying capacity, and it's just like oh, so it's a lot of this shit. Which it's okay, but I think like I'm thinking back to like Seven and Village. I think those handled it better, and I don't... Am I dead in here? And I don't remember exactly what they did. Where's the ladder? Okay, I'm a little confused. There should be a ladder here. Am I out of my goddamn mind? There should be a ladder if I turn to my left. What? The Sam Hill? I guess not. It's on the other side. Yeah, I've never really cared for... Uh, um, I've never really cared for Coke Zero. It's it's just too sweet for me. Okay, I need to go to the uh, office. This office, though. So, I tell you what, I've been watching Cobra Kai with the family. I've already seen Cobra Kai up until season five, and then I started watching it with them. I've forgotten how goddamn good that show is in the first couple seasons. I mean, all the seasons, but it is kind of crazy how good that, that show is. It's better than it has a right to be. Um, all right. Which is a terrible thing. Why? But I don't know. Shut up. Fuck you. Oh, my God, Jeffy. Come on now. What do I want to give up? Uh... Here, I'll put this away for a moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, what goes in here for now? Let's put let's put this. Wait, does it take it out of my... Oh, fuck you. Um, it's great show, AJC. I miss Julie Voth as Jill. Her character model and remake was phenomenal. Is this her? Is this the? Is this who you're talking about? Um, okay. I guess I have one slot I can combine that and make some bullshit. I'll do that for now. But this is the remake, so is this the girl you're talking about? The woman you're talking about? Oh, the remake of... Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. You mean the other remake? Okay. Uh, what games... Hello, Cab. What games do I anticipate the most? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to... Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to God of War, of course. I'm curious and I'm interested in that. There's a couple of games... Hello, Luca. Uh, there are a couple of games, uh, but I'm trying to, you know, I always draw a blank when I'm trying to remember. Um, hang on a second. Here. Of course, Jaffe, you fucking moron. All right, don't worry about it. Just go get this fucking power shit. Um, 
Wild, a uh, Wild Hearts Morgan. I saw the trailer for it. I thought it looked kind of cool. Let me do this real quick. Hang on. Okay. Okay. I understand. Um. Yeah. I I thought the trailer was good. Uh. For for that uh, game. Now, there's absolutely something I'm looking forward to. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, Callisto. I'm very excited for uh, Callisto Protocol. Absolutely. Fucking yeah. All right. Let's see. Right. They had the seven-minute trailer. Yep. Indeed. A love letter. Of course. My little darlings. It's already been three months since we fled here together. <laughs> I found myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies, brimming with incredible destructive power, and of course, the voracious, insatiable appetite. Oh, you are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet, they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as a weapon because of a few minor vulnerabilities. Well, so what if you're susceptible to heat? So was the Queen of England. She lived for 97 years. So what if you just... If your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed, haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. You see, down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path. What is it, the lizard from Spider-Man? Uh, we'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Um... RE4 remake. I am eager for that. That is coming out in like February. Is that right? What am I missing in here? Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Oh, this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Here, put. And I can't get rid of anything, right? If I can discard it. Oh, so dumb. I'll put away my flame thing. Yeah, I'm 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 eager to play that game for sure. Um And there's a bunch more. I just whenever I'm on the spot, um But yeah, RE4 and then I'm looking forward to the DLC for RE Village, which like I said, I like that a lot. Um, Redfall has me curious. I wasn't interested before I saw their uh, kind of Bethesda showcase over the summer. I think it was the summer. And then I was like, okay, this is interesting. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it's interesting. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, but I don't really know if, uh, not entirely sure if if I'm gonna like it or not. Um, oh, the Kadoma are awesome. I love the Kadoma. Oh, really? I thought Village was great. Um, are you gonna play it in VR? What do you mean you're ready for it? Like. Why haven't you played it before? Yeah, Gotham Knights. I mean, you know, Gotham Knights is really interesting to me because the um, the previews, and there have been a lot of previews going live as of late, it, it almost seems like they're a studio that cares more about their story and their tone than the game because a lot of the interviews are with, like, the writers of the game and stuff, and you're just kind of like, why are these guys... You know, they said, for example, oh, the reason it's not four player instead of two player. And they said our prototype was four player. And yeah, it was fun, but it kind of it kind of killed. What is happening? What is happening? What? I don't understand. They said it, it's fun, but it doesn't fit the narrative. And I'm like, dude, who gives a shit? Write the narrative around the mechanics. 
it was just a lot of that and a bunch of the previews I read yesterday that makes me just kind of go, what is your priority? You know? Um, okay. I don't understand this. I can't rearrange. Can I? Oh, I can. I can rearrange like in, uh, okay. I got it. I got it. I wasn't aware I could do that like in other Resident Evil games. Okay. So how do I move it? I want to take this shotgun and I want to move it. Yeah, like living La Vida Loca, I saw that. Smashy smash. What the fuck? Does anybody know? I'm Well, I'm sure. Uh, 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 who was it who's played this 30 times? Jalapeno. Why can I not... Um, like, I can do it if I try to pick this up. But how do I move other stuff around to kind of... Oh, oh, well, there we go. Did it. Hello, Calpy. Good to see you, buddy. I have this chat tonight on a little bit more of a delay because I was watching it. And I think when you have the late... I know. When you have the... Uh, when you have the latency for chat not as good, uh, you can send out a pretty good resolution image. So, okay, so now I got to go back up here and use that battery. Or do I have to go? Yeah, I got to go for that. Oh, shit, again? Come on! Oh, yeah, that's right. Village has a third person mode now. Okay, that's why you're going to play. And you're going to, you, you dislike first person. Is it that it makes you sick? Or you just dislike it to such an extent that you're like, I, I won't even play um, first person. Ravnos, you haven't seen that before, but you've played it? Wow, I must really sucker. You must be really good. That's happened like five times to me so far. I wonder if I can kill it with a shotgun. You'd think you should be able to. Oh, shit! Did it again. Okay, you can't shoot it at all when it's in the... when its mouth is not open. All right, I'll waste this shit. Come on. Open your fucking gob. Say goodnight, bitch. Oh, don't be such a drama queen. Just die. Are we done? Are we done? I have to make a big deal out of it. It's my death scene. Wish I had a mini map. Such a pain in the ass. Oh, so I'm trying to remember is the Resident Evil 4 remake? supposed to be as dramatic of a remake as the these remakes um i mean obviously because those started with over the shoulder to begin with it it might be a little harder to do that but i'm wondering how big of a change they're going to make and i don't i know they've mentioned it but i don't remember the, the answer it's been a while i just know that resident evil section during their showcase was really impressive because it was the remake, it was Village in VR, and it was uh, the DLC for Village, and it was, um, uh, it was like one other big thing, not the, not the multiplayer show. God, okay, enough.
go back and get that other battery? All I can tell you is I very much miss the, uh, I miss the kick in this game from Resident Evil 4. Right? I mean, the enemies in that game were so much easier. Can I take it back? Okay, I can. Okay, I think I can. Or maybe I don't. Uh, Eddie T, I don't imagine they'll make a... I mean, there are games being made like that, but I don't imagine Capcom will do a Resident Evil game like that. There was a game that just came out this year uh, that it, it had it, it it had some problems, but it was also pretty compelling. It was like you played this woman and she woke up in a bathtub or something. Um, hey, Nikki T, I've played the demo of Inscription. I've not gone back and actually played the uh, the full thing yet, but I know I need to. It's on my list along with a million other things. But yeah, I, I hear it's fantastical. Uh, Tormented Souls. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah, I did like it. It had some issues, and I honestly, I could never fucking finish it, but I did like it. Okay, I've got one more flame thing. I come the same way I just came up. Get my battery back. Hang on. Oops, put my battery. This looks Oh, you didn't like RE, Corden? Uh, I, I did. I liked RE2 a lot. I thought it was great. The remake. Oh, I've already read that. Okay. So. Dude, Power Stone was the shit. My hope is if Sony ever does do... Uh, Carlos, hang on. can you hear me now? Alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Um.
Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, oh, Power Stone. So I'm hoping one of the Sony service games is like a uh, All-Star Battle Royale remake, and I'm hoping that it's... I'd love it to be inspired by Power Stone versus... Uh, um, you know, like a Smash thing. Um, I think that would make a lot more sense for the franchise. That's not Mr. X, though. Right? Mr. X is, uh... Mr. X is in two, isn't he? Oh, Nemesis talked in the old ones? The kids might hate it. I don't know. Power Stone's hard to hate. I mean, it was never a massive hit, but boy, it was fun. Well, Spectre Bull, I'm good, sir. How are you? What you up to, man? Good to see you, sir. I'm just killing the zombies. Really? Really? It'll bring down a fucking monster in the fucking where? In the fucking... I don't even understand what the point of the X is. I totally made the X. I got it. Um... So smart. I never would have thought of that. Dude, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing is the shit. That game's awesome. I'm trying to remember which one was better. I know there was a sequel, and I don't remember which one I liked more. But it was it was the shit, man. Um. Uh-oh. I, I would do some of the... Oh, shit. He's... Oh, can I... Move, move, move. I would do some... Uh, thank you, Spectre Bull. I would do... No, I've not played the original RE3. I would do some more because it was fun to do. But those cam girls are expensive, man. Maybe it was Sonic Racing Transform. Up your output to 1440. Is that right? Let me do it in a second. Hang on. I don't... I'm always confused by that. But let me get out of this scenario. And then I'll take a look at it, Corden. Because that's that... Yeah, I'd love to get better resolution. Come on now. Okay, so let's see. 
If you want better res up your output, set bitrate to 18,000. All right, I will try that next time. Because there was a setting I had once, and uh, it made everything look so much better, but I think I accidentally turned it off or something. Um, did you tell the cam girl you were famous? No. I didn't get the sense she would give a fuck. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof. Entry to premises is prohibited until the current unrest has subsided, but listen, all employees are to stay at home and then wait further instructions. Defeat the creature. I don't know how that's possible. Got her too? Fuck you. His fuel tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, shit, shit. I I'll read those chats in just one second, fellas and fletties. Oh, shit. Herb, gimme, gimme.
fuck was that? Tank didn't do a lot of good. Come, this better move. Oh. Let me get these uh, chats real quick. Um, next time, pick a Russian cam girl. They're super hot. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, how long were you on with the cam girl? Did you get to see what was in her box? I mean, I I made um, I, you know, I made sure to be clear with her that I wasn't I wasn't actually looking for her services in that way. Not that anything's wrong with that, but I was just like, hey, I'm just want to do this video and she she was real cool with it and stuff um we we I, we were probably on for about 10 or 15 minutes um hello frank blasey god damn 22 months man thank you so much for that long time support i appreciate it bud he says i almost didn't join the stream because there were 69 people watching and didn't want to ruin a good thing ah uh, thank you sir uh things are well things are good frank how are you um okay nemesis inspired you to reach for the stars there you go all right, here we go. What are we doing here? Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? I can't uh, read. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Yeah, I don't think so. Good. Fuck him. I can't do that. Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. No, but I wasn't. Fuck don't you, Carlos. Start. I did what I had to. Fuck you, Carlos, you bitch. Fucking risk her life. You know they're gonna leave without her. You know they're gonna leave without her. It's, just, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen. I know how this thing. I know how this this goes. I don't know what that face means, Ravenos. Sometimes people use emotes, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Do I get to drive the fire truck? That'd be fun. I like driving the fire. Oh, hello. Nope. Some shotgun shells are here. Come on, fellas. Let me use that red drum. I can't. Well, I guess I can't. I wish she ran. It's not even that I need her to run faster. It's just the animation for her running and walking is so similar. Especially then she's got this wounded animation that it's kind of hard sometimes to tell. Um, it, it's hard to tell if I'm running or not sometimes. And so I find myself really like smashing the stick um that looks like that Keenan guy from SNL sorry champ I know you're just a dude trying to get through the night I can't take any chances Some people would say don't waste your ammo. I know. Oh. 
Yeah, Keenan and Kel. Yeah, what, what's uh, Keenan Thompson? That dude's been on SNL. He's in his twentieth season. He's one. He's great. I fucking love him on that show. I don't know what you said in the Discord. What'd you say in the Discord? I'm trying to get my Discord set up so there will be forums, which they have now on certain servers. I just got to take the time to do it. Because I've seen a bunch of conversations really focus on the main page. And I think in some ways it's it would be better if I could kind of get those on forums so people could find them and read through the threads. And... No, SNL's not... I mean, anything's possible. It could be canceled. Um, but... I mean, you know, they always have up and down seasons. Um, and this is a new cast, so everybody complains. Those no sucks, and it takes a little time, and they suddenly, uh, oh, Trey Trimble, and they suddenly are like, oh, no, it's really good. Um, so I don't think it will, no. But, you know, I've been around long enough to see the ups and downs in SNL, and I've seen people, it's almost like every new season, people hate everybody. Even when it was like Eddie Murphy coming on. It's like, who the fuck is this guy? He's not John Belushi or whoever he was replacing. Um, Moon Scars on Game Pass. It's good. Um, I haven't spent a whole lot of time with it, but I've played it for about an hour and a half and I like what I played. Yeah. Hey, I picked up the green herb, everybody. Ooh. I would like, yeah, I'm curious about Amsterdam, but I'm, but the next movie I'm going to go see is, is Terrifier 2. I really want to see that. Is there a chess? Is that a chess for you? Handgun that. Oh, it's an explosive. Okay. Double! Shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. You're Things. all right to stretch. Kendo? Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's going to be a lot to do. You can use a man of your skill set. Hello, Adam. Good to see you, bud. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. I'm, I'm here with a girl. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? Uh, take care, Jill. Oh, you goddamn right. You goddamn right with the Gab and the Games pumpkin. Yep. And uh, it'll be coming back, too, because I'm doing the special again this year. Jaffe, all I said, uh, with my game design background, I understood what Cyberpunk would deliver and those who thought it would work on last gen had lofty expectations given their naivete. Um, why'd you get slammed for it? I mean, I mean, ultimately, I don't think it's the customer's job um, oh my God. To, to, to have that awareness. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I can understand somebody going, fuck you, you know, um, why should the customer have to have a knowledge of software creation in order to, uh, know what, the what they should purchase. So I'm, I'm, I can understand how people were kind of into, you know, pushing back on that, not on you, but just who's she talking, who's he talking to?
I liked Cyberpunk. No, no, Adam, I have not. I've been meaning to watch. Um, I was going to stream today and I got, I got, hang on. I got so busy. I got to stop making these videos. Lately, I've just been having fun making stupid videos, but they take so long to cut that it's, it's killed my stream schedule this week. So, um, I really need some handgun ammo. Let's see. I could use the herb anyway. So my point is, is that I was going to watch those um, as part of the stream, uh, but I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, that one in Need for Speed, I want to watch. Um, can I combine these? You are streaming. I mean, streaming like a show, not like th th this. This is fun to do, but you know, this this is. I'm just fucking around playing games. Um, but you know, a show that I I prep and shit. You know, that takes time, and I love doing it. I just uh, Specter Bull. You know what? Well, here's what I'll tell you, Specter Bull. If if I want help editing, hit me up in the Discord. Let me know what you charge. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is I'll start doing the uh, Gabin and Games on live. Uh, and those are pretty raw. And then I'm going to put those just for members. And then the next day, I'd like to have an edited version up. That's all the ums and ands and tangents all cleaned up and shit. Um, so if that sounds like something you might be interested in, in working with me on, uh, you know, we can we can do a test run. Uh, I have, I have a couple of samples of what it looks like when I do it and no, come back. So yeah, if you're, if you're interested, let's have a chat. I, I would love to chat with you about that. Um, Hey, BitCloud gaming. Good to see you, buddy. I think, uh, oh, we've, we've talked before and you've been a, um, a member before. Thank you so much. I sure do appreciate that. Uh, thank you for joining the Diet Soda Soldier, sir. You get a kiss from Mickey Mouse uh, in places where I can't talk about on a family show. Thank you, BitCloud, very, very much. What do you mean drop the bolt cutters? How do I, how do you, okay, so what you're telling me whenever I, I when there's a trash can symbol, that means you can dump it, right? That's that's the gist. Um, okay, cool, Specter Bull. Thank you, buddy. Okay. I've never seen a Call of Duty game look this good. Okay, you know, I am I have it pre-ordered. I've already paid for it. I'm very excited about it. Um, okay, but that's what that means, right? I can I can get rid of those bolt cutters now. Okay. Well, I'll just leave them in there for now, but I guess I got to use some medicine. Let me go save. <laughs> this game is so good. It is really good, you know. Hi, dog. Do you have to potty? Hey, baby. Nobody's spending any time with him tonight. Ace, come here. Ace, do you have to go pee pee? All right, that dog's got a shit. I'm going to leave the stream going. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. I'll be back on the other side.
I'm back. I'm back, but I can't stay for long because my dog is shitting liquid. So I have to go to the store uh, and pick him up some pumpkin. So his poo gets consistent. But I want to go in this door first and see what's in this door. Yeah, it's super fun. What is missing? Item box. Let's go use the key. Yeah, I know, Trey. It sucks. Can I not use the key? He said he did not want the name G and G on the stream's title. Who? Yeah, he needs pumpkin. He probably had something. On the floor, the kids dropped or I dropped. Who, who, G and G. I, I, hey, trust me, if you could tell me what I could do to make the algorithm like me, I would. Um, but so far. Yeah, sweet potato works well, too, for dogs. What's up, eh? You know this guy's gonna come. Do I think switching, um... I do think, well, here, here's what I think. I think whatever they're doing isn't working. And the fact that they're making a lot of changes lately, whether it's management or the engine, I think is a good thing. Um, because ultimately, what, it, it, hell, they lost their lead engineer. Um, And uh, who, inv who who created the new engine? And it's just like, clearly there are issues, you know. CR3D, I'm telling you, man, I don't think it's that easy. I appreciate that. I And I do. I agree with you. I am smart. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. So if I, if what you're saying is, yeah, if I wanted to create a channel... And basically be like uh, this video game guy that 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 has video game experience and I'm super fucking right wing and shit and I just fucking fake it. Um, yeah, I could do that, but I don't know if I would sleep at night. Right, Morgan. No, I agree. I, I haven't found that to be the case. Uh, okay. Well, I have. I guess that was what it's for. champion not sure what that extra barrel did but yeah I mean I, I have to assume I mean look certain affinity is doing it for I guess their battle royale um well Ravnos yeah but the issue is though they've they got whether they got rid of or they However, Bonnie Ross was shown the exit. She left. And then the in, the lead engineer left. Um, and a handful of other people have taken over the management roles. So, uh, 
between that and the fact that certain affinity is being given now, once that guy's out, the, the engineer, the ability to change their engine, um, my guess is the engine that they are using currently does a lot of great things, but it probably makes it really hard to update. It probably makes it really hard to get new levels in. I mean, it's clearly, uh, you know, it's clearly a, uh, there's some kind of, fuck you, problem. Right in your vagina hole. Even if you stuck to gaming but just posted news video news videos. Spawnware manages to find news for daily. What's spawn wave? Oh no, I, I hear you, Ravenous, but what I'm saying is is that it, it's not so much two people do it, it's that if you've got a situation and th this is, I don't know what you do for a living, but this is pretty common, uh, I found. if So take Bonnie Ross. Let's say Bonnie Ross was super um, in on what this lead engineer was all about, right? She totally just gave him run because she didn't understand tech or he understood it better or whatever. Or maybe she just believed in his vision, even if it meant whatever. So now that she's gone and he's gone, um, it's not so much that two people can do it or not do it. It's that it kind of opens up the bottlenecks that were political, um, and getting in the way of progress. Uh, another good example is what happened at Ubisoft, right? Ubisoft just got rid of, uh, their, they hired less than a year ago. They hired a creative director to oversee the entire company's creative vision which seems stupid um, given how samey the complaint is that all the Ubisoft games are. Um, but they let him go or fired him. I don't know how he got out of there. Um, and they decided today, they announced today that they're going to let the individual studios have more creative freedom. Right. And so I don't know which decision came first, but certainly a guy like that, one guy could have been holding up a bunch of really cool ideas because it wasn't his vision. So a lot of times stuff like that happens, you know, often. Um, that's the, well, that's a reason Twisted had racing. Twisted had racing because one of our great network programmers put it in and politically it was very difficult to get rid of it. And I kind of thought the bread and butter of the game was going to be online multiplayer. So I was willing to take the hit. Um, what did I just pick up? What was that fucking thing? Dear editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows the Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays, but there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I have noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only things held up by a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, it's a hint, by the way, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be that manager's. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. Hoo -hoo. Um, Bacon, hello, Bacon. Bacon says, how much money should I spend on capable gaming PC that would only be playing indie and older AAA games? Um, And you want it to be a PC or a lap, like a laptop, or do you want it to be a desktop? But it, you know, it basically, frankly, go get a steam deck. They just started selling. Uh, I think they started selling them or they announced when they're going to sell them the dock. So you can plug that dock into a TV or a monitor and the steam deck. My understanding is it runs like a medium grade PC, which means you could totally play all those games you're mentioning. I mean, I, I would ask somebody a little bit more, um, uh, into that world than I am, but I would certainly start there. Spawn wave is a channel I watch. He's just grown quite well. I think his consistency plays a large part. Every morning, his news video is there in my recommended. Okay. 
How does he make a news video in the morning? The news hasn't happened yet. I'll have to go over Spawn Wave. I'll check him out. You stay here, Mom. We'll check it out. He is a dinosaur with ancient design ideas. 75% of the mechanics in Breath of the Wild he was against. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard, man. I mean, I, Miyamoto is, is you know... You, you can't you can't get here to there without Miyamoto and all that he gave. But yeah, I mean, you grow you grow out of it. I don't mean you grow out of it like you get bored of it, but I mean, some people will tell you you don't. But I certain games, I wouldn't want to even try to design certain games like a fucking fighting game. I no fucking way. Spawn Spawn Wave is excellent. OK. Raveno says he should stick to doing Nintendo Directs and wearing shirts. Okay, are we talking about Miyamoto? Doesn't does Miyamoto have a penchant for walking around without a shirt on? Um, I know he's in good shape for a guy his age. He swims all the time, but that said, what? All right, what are we doing here? How did I get here? Uh, I hate story. <laughs> I don't mind stories in games if they're integrated well. Oh, it's you. Fuck you. Fucker. Rocket launcher? Really? He's right behind me. Come on, up, up she did. Oh, I missed that. I missed the, I could have shocked him. This game's awesome. Yeah, me too, Carlos, but you know what? That guy can't aim to save his life. Try that, bitch. Yeah. Ask your wife what you were laughing at. Oh, I see. You tell your wife that I'm a funny guy and she just needs to basically go back to school to learn a sense of humor. Lady Ravnos, don't fuck with me. I'm the jokester. I'm a class clown. I got a lampshade on my head, lady. I'm the life of the party. Come on now. Uh, don't be where his rockets. Oh, I'm going to hit. I'm going to bring that fucking head down on top of him. Oh, my God. Eddie T, they're working on the next Halo game. Come on. They haven't earned the right yet. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? Yeah, we're gonna run over him with the train. Trust me. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I hope they don't make a new Halo yet. I hope they they let it go for a while. I, I like the new Halo. I don't want a fucking new one. Come on now. Where are you at, Nemesis? Can I hit that thing yet? Where's the subway station? Okay, so down and right? Oh, well, you don't even let me do it. Oh, shit. I died from the giant head? Well, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. I mean, it does, but there was no interaction, no interactivity. I couldn't do anything about it. We're not going back into the donut shop, lovely. We have to go this way. I guess we'll take the different path.
I don't know. Oh, I have control. Oh, shit. It's like Dragon's Lair. Okay, I guess I had control there and the cinematic stopped. Oh, your wife's giving you a talking to, Ravno. She's like, I don't like that man on your TV. You were going to spin tonight with me, and it's the second night in a row you're spinning it with Chaffee. I don't like it. Baby, baby, come on. I'm just unwinding. I got myself some tequila. You have to choose between Chaffee and me. Okay, well, I can't see where I'm going, so I guess I just push in some direction. Okay. What? Oh, now the head. You know what? Fuck you, nemesis fuck. Oh, I don't believe you. You're in trouble, Ravnos. Not trouble. Be a fucking man. Say, look, you go make me a chicken pot pie, Mrs. Ravnos. Get with the program. I don't know if that'll work or not, but, you know. I can quick turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Chris. Good to see you, Chris. I know you weren't here. Oh, shit. I did. I shouldn't have quick turned, though. My bad. <laughs> Jim's crabs. I wonder if that's an inside joke on the team. Trey, the last one was, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be, it's already been 10 years. God damn this fucking thing. Um, it came out February, 2012. So it's already been over 10 years, man. Think about that. All I can say on near, uh, Automata is, uh, and I, I enjoyed it to an extent. I didn't love it like a lot of people. But I'm glad somebody told me something about the beginning because other, I was about to quit it. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And then something happened. I'm like, are you shitting me? Um, but I don't want to spoil anything for you. Just, just know if you get to a point where you're frustrated and you may or you may not get to that point. But if you do, don't be because it makes sense. I feel like her run speed is so shit. Do I have bad taste? I might. I don't know. I didn't hate it. I just, after a while, it got very samey. Like the environments and everything. Shit, dumb! I keep trying to hit circle for, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's that game? Elden Ring. Yeah, my character's injured. I should give her some, uh, some stuffs. I don't have any stuff to give her. Fudge. Hello, Brett Moore. Good to see you, bud. Okay, well, I'm going to pull this out. So at least I can slow him down this time.
God. I can't believe I'm literally. Come on! I turned. And I hit a planter box that I couldn't see when I turned. Um. If you like ghost hunting, I recommend a horror game called Ph Phasmophobia. I have it, and we've played it, Adam, on um, uh, stream once, but it's it was really, not that there's a learning curve like it's hard, but it was hard for me to stream it and talk to people and learn it. So I know there's a multiplayer mode now. Um, uh, sorry, a single player mode. So I'm going to play, uh, I want to play that in the next day or two. And then, uh, and then stream it. Hey, Chris, thank you for being a member for goddamn four months. Thank you, good sir. Jaffe, when does Cyberpunk get good? I'm two hours into the game and I've yet. Um, I'll tell you in a second. Hang on. Run, run, run. Um, so what I all say about Cyberpunk. <clears throat> I had to come to it in the right headspace. Like when I first started it on Stadia, I was just like, oh, stop talking, stop talking. But when I approached it more like a simulation, like I was really sort of living in the space, um, I was having fun almost immediately getting my missions and meeting all the characters. And But I had to be in that mindset, and I, I wasn't at first. Fuck you, Bukaki. <laughs> All right, I got to go. To the, I actually have to go to the grocery store. I need to get my dog some pumpkins. So, fellas, Filetti's, thanks for hanging out. Um, uh, yeah, I was trying to run Morgan. I didn't know where to run to. Um, I will be back tomorrow, and I'm going to go check out this. What's the guy's name? Sine Wave or Shockwave? I, I'll, I'll go through the chat and find this guy again. Um, let me see before I spawn wave. Okay. Spawn where spawn wave? Hang on. Spawn. Where? Spawn wave. All right, fellas. Be well, be safe. I'll see you soon. And thank you for that four months, uh, Chris. I do appreciate it, buddy. I always go to the grocery store late. Um, okay. I played Little Nightmares 2. I really, really liked it. Um, I thought it was fantastic, but I haven't finished it yet. All right, see you guys.